Top State Department official Phil Rika arrived on Capitol Hill on Saturday to testify in a closed-door deposition before congressional House committees leading the impeachment inquiry against President Donald Trump. Rika is the latest official to testify about what he knew regarding a July 25th call where President Trump asked Ukraine's president to investigate political rival Joe Biden and his son Hunter in return for U.S. aid. The idea that vital military assistance would be withheld for such a patently political reason, uh, for the reason of serving the president's re-election campaign, uh, is a phenomenal breach of the president's duty to defend our national security. The State Department had instructed Rika not to testify, but he will nonetheless. Former Deputy National Security Advisor Charles Kupperman has been ordered to testify Monday, but he is asking a judge to weigh his responsibility to the Congress, which is demanding his testimony, or to the White House, which has ordered him not to cooperate. Republicans have objected to how the impeachment investigation has been carried out, saying it's been behind closed doors, keeping the president and the American people in the dark. Instead of the judiciary looking at a potential impeachable offense, they've created a process in the intel uh, committee that's behind closed doors, doesn't provide uh, access uh, to the president's accuser. Trump tweeted his thoughts on the matter Saturday. The Ukraine investigation is just as corrupt and fake as all of the other garbage that went on before it. However, there are signs that the White House might be finally understanding the gravity of the situation. The Washington Post reported that Trump has rehired a pair of criminal defense attorneys, the same who worked with him during the investigation into whether the Trump campaign had received aid from Russia in the 2016 presidential campaign. If the House votes to impeach the president, the Senate will hold a trial of Trump. Toby Muse, CGTN, Washington.